Hi everyone, welcome to episode number 27 of our procurement sourcing series. In this episode, we will continue to explore about the vendor collaboration portal capabilities in Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance and operation. With that note, let's quickly jump into today's topic. So let's quickly get into today's topic. Uh, so we will be covering in detail about the two process flows for vendor purchase order confirmation and uh, RFQ bidding using the vendor portal user access. So in the previous episode, we discussed in detail about how to create a login ID user for Mr. Rajinigan Taleva. Now Rajinigan Taleva is going to confirm the purchase orders and at the same time accept and reject the bidding process so as, part of a, as part of the bidding process. Uh, so we will discuss in detail about how to execute this in Dynamics 365 F&O. So I will strongly recommend you to first check out the previous episode number 26, part one of vendor collaboration before coming to the part two. So we already discussed about these, how to create a vendor user access and uh, login inside the portal. So in this episode, we will be discussing about how do we enable the vendor collaboration for the vendors. Um, so first we will navigate to Dynamics 365 screen so if you go to the respective uh, right now you can see i have just logged in as an administrator emma uh, so who is the administrator for contest entertainment usa so let me go to procurement sourcing module then uh, go to vendors all vendors also i just want to show you um, if i go to vendor collaboration request um, yeah maybe in the vendors i will show you the all because we already created a contact for acme office supplies uh, in the previous episode. Um, so we are just continuing from the previous episode. If, you, if I go to contacts, click on view contacts, you can see Rajinga Taleva is the contact which is already available against the vendor Acme office supplies for whom we also established the vendor portal access. So let me go back. Um, yeah, so now here in the vendor account, what I will do is I need to activate this vendor account for vendor collaboration portal, which how we will do that in order to do that. Uh, if you go inside the vendor account, the general force tab, you have a section called vendor collaboration, collaboration activation. So there are three possible options. If it is not active, even though you have created a user and the user has been provided with the URL and the login ID, they will not be able to have transactions with the vendor Acme Office Supplies if it is not active. So you need to make sure that it is either active PO is not auto confirmed or active PO is auto confirmed. So then the user will be able to access the purchase orders or of or of queues from the vendor portal and respond to those so what's the difference between these two so let's say if it is active po is not conf auto confirmed pos are automatically confirmed if the vendor accepts without the changes let's say mr rajinigan taleva accepts our purchase order without making any changes in the vendor portal then those purchase orders will be automatically confirmed in dynamics 365 but at this case, in that case, you also need to make sure that you configure the vendor collaboration badge job to auto confirm the these purchase orders, which is responsible for processing the confirmations. So once the purchase order is confirmed by the vendors, it will be automatically confirmed in the organizational um, purchase order form also. Um, so next one is is based on active PO is not auto confirmed. So which means clearly that even though the vendor user, Mr. Rajinigan Taleva has confirmed the purchase order in the vendor portal, it is not automatically confirmed in the Dynamics 365 purchase order form. So the user has to manually confirm the purchase orders. If the option is active, PO is not auto confirmed. So based on your business requirements, you need to configure either active PO is not auto confirmed or active PO is auto confirmed, but not not active. If it is not active, then the user will not be able to use the uh, process. So let's say let me keep it as P active PO not auto confirmed so that manually I go and confirm and show it to you. And the other option is if you want the purchase orders to be displayed to the vendors along with the price and discount information, then that is a toggle purchase order prices slash amount option on the purchase order defaults which need to needs to be set as yes this price information includes unit price discounts and charges. so all your unit price discount and charges will be visible to the vendor only when you actually activate this toggle so if you go to in the vendor we are right now in the acme office supplies if you go to purchase order defaults 
so this is the toggle which we were talking about so if this is not enabled then the purchase order price and amount are not visible to the vendor so they will not be able to take appropriate action just purely looking at the quantity they will not be able to decide but in some cases it is not required maybe depending on the business use case scenarios so in those cases you can just disable this then only the quantity and other informations will be available but the price and discounts will not be available for the vendor to confirm so let me save this so we have kept as active po not not to confirm so let me go to procurement and sourcing module um yeah, we are in procurement sourcing module. Let me go to purchase orders, all purchase orders. So what I'll do is I'll quickly create a two process flows. One is the confirmation and acceptance of PO by a vendor user. And uh, another one is RFQ bidding process flow. So we will be discussing only these two process flows, but I will strongly recommend you to take this video as the first step and start exploring and play, play around the product so that you will gain a lot of insights about the vendor collaboration portal capabilities in Dynamics 365. And I'm sure if you're following from episode number one to episode number 26, I am 100% sure you will be able to do that. So, so we are in purchase order form, click on new. And then uh, let me add the Acme office supplies. Site and Varos, click on OK. Um, so let me add a item number and then uh, by default it is in approved state we have not enabled the change management that's fine let me give a quantity as uh, 12 unit price is 899 that is fine so now what i will do is i will save this purchase order and i'm not going to directly confirm this purchase order instead what i will do is i will send this for confirmation with the vendor collab vendor portal with whom we have given the vendor collaboration portal access so so the user what i'm trying to do is i'm doing going to get the confirmation before confirming this purchase order in the system i want to get the acknowledgement from the vendor hey i am wanted to procure 12 quantities of surface pro laptop um, at a unit price of 899 will you be able to supply at this at this price for this particular quantity you can also provide other delivery terms and other conditions and charges if you want and then get the acknowledgement from the supplier and once he confirms then only i want to confirm the purchase order in the system Right, so that's the scenario we are going to see right now let's say i'm going to send for confirmation then automatically the changes will the the status you can also print the purchase order if you want if you enable this let me click on ok the status will change from approved to in external review which means the status goes for an external review with the vendor so you can see very well that it's an external review now I'm going to log out from the system and log in as a vendor user, vendor user, which is our Mr. Rajnikanth Taleva. So now you can see Emma, who is an administrator. Let me log out of the system. Great. Uh, so now I have just logged in as a user as Rajnikanth Taleva RT. You can see the login ID name is Rajnikanth Taleva, which is the one for for whom we have actually created the uh, login for vendor portal so let so this is the workspace from this workspace also can can directly go get into the purchase order if i click on purchase order confirmation um so you can see this is the purchase order which we have actually created and sent for external review so let me click on this purchase order number and uh, as a user now i have logged in as the login logged in with the id mr rajnikanth taleva so now i'm able to check the item number so this is the item number quantity is 12 price is 899 dollars so but i feel that the supplying this material at 899 dollars is not a viable option for me so i'm going to reject this uh, particular purchase order so let me click on reject and uh, i will also tell you how you can configure the message um, which is getting displayed over here um, but uh, let's say i'm rejecting it for a recent price is not viable to supply please uh, change the price to 920 920 dollars okay so i'm sending along with the notification that uh, i want the vendor to know why i am rejecting this particular order and then uh, so that the vendor also knows uh, what's the reason the vendor has so that the customer also knows why we have actually rejected this order so now let me go back 
so we have rejected this order now let me refresh this page so then the purchase order for review is removed so now once again i will log out of the system and then log in as a user um, so that you will know what exactly how exactly it reflects in our system so let me log in as a user so now i'm going to log in as a user in the system so let me go to procurement and sourcing module then purchase orders all purchase orders now you can see my login id is em which is emma uh, not rt uh, so now let me open the purchase order let me it's in next so this is the one in external review let me click on 172 yeah so so i can see this is the one which is in ex external review um, now if i go to purchase order vendor confirmation history this history form will show me all the responses which we have got from the vendor uh, you can also go to view response on latest sent order so the latest order will be available in case if you have maybe five ten responses back and forth communication which happens then you should ideally go to the history form in case if you want to view only the latest sent order then you should go to the view uh, latest uh, sent form so here you can see um, the the reply replayer name rejecting on Taliba. the status of the response status is rejected and uh, also you can see in the same form um, what is the reason notes is clearly says the prices should be modified to 920 dollars so let me go back so now as a as a purchaser or a purchasing manager now I, what i want to do is since uh, the vendor has requested for updating the price i want to update the price as maybe 9 15 dollars and then let me save this once i save this the, the status of the purchase order will go back from in external review to approved so yeah so once again what i will do is i will need to instead of confirming the purchase order once again i need to send it for confirmation with the vendor and then once again the vendor can look into the modified price and then confirm the purchase order so this is a back and forth communication which happens within dynamics 365 and you have a track of all the changes which are done by using by looking at the purchase order sent con, sent for confirmations and a history form which will helps you to monitor what are all the changes what are all the discussions which are the reason why the part the vendor has rejected or accepted your purchase orders so you will be able to track those so now let me also go to to what i'm also going to do is uh, under procurement sourcing module i'll create an rf rfq um request for quote or request for quote click on new so so i'm just sending uh, rfq let it be purchase order so we already discussed in detail about creating the rfqs uh, publishing sending it to vendors so i'm not going to discuss in detail about it the whole idea is uh, once we create a rfq and send it to the vendor it will be available in our vendor collaboration portal for the user registering on taliba um, more probably i'll pick a different item mm, yeah um, HDMI cable uh, for a quantity of 100 let me add the vendor vendor account is 1001 sorry uh, yeah Acme office supplies then save it now I will send this RFQ the moment I send the RFQ then the bidding process will be initiated in the portal also so let me send the RFQ to Acme office supply let me click on OK so previously if you have missed the RFQ episode please do check out the same where I was updating the RFQ as a purchaser but I was not updating as a vendor so if we go to manage replies um, so here of course we need to enable the parameter in the uh, procurement sourcing parameter section so we already discussed about in the rfq uh, episode please do check out that particular video uh, if you have if you have seen it already then you might have noticed that the replay is in progress the status we can see the vendor the the purchaser is updating the rfq um, but uh, in this case what is going to happen is let me log out uh, let me go back now we are logged in as emma so now i'm going to log out um, so i will pause the video and then log in again now i just logged in as uh, rajnik antalaiva rt you can see the username there on the top right corner so now once again first i will show you the purchase order confirmation before getting into the 
um, out of queue so you can see now once again the there is a order 172 which gets updated over here so now i will get into the purchase order now let me view the price so i can see the unit price is now modified to 915 i am happy about uh, processing this order so now i will go ahead and accept the purchase order um so if you want you can provide a note uh, maybe thanks for modifying the price then okay so this by this process i am acknowledging to the the organization Contoso Entertainment USA that I am willing to supply the material of 12 quantity at a unit price of $915 so so let me go back then uh, and then also there is a workspace which is used for vendor bidding so let me click on vendor bidding so we have already created our RFQ you can see the same request for code is available over here the replay progress is not yet started so let me click on the RFQ so here uh, I can start the bidding process by click on bid in the top um, and then after the afterwards you can it's it's going to be the same process what we have seen in the as part of our RFQ video so if you want you can modify the price let's say the price is uh, $12.22 dollars, and I'm also willing to give a discount um, so we already discussed about all these in our RFQ episode I'm just not discussing in detail about it um, so discount percent of two percent and you can also configure the alternate supplies if if you have configured the alternate supplies I can also provide a, another item which may be HDMI seven inch cable or something like that so that uh, the vendor is actually aware of what other alternate options which we have in our catalog so let me submit this you can see here also the status is vendor is updating but ideally if I was updating as a on behalf of the vendor then the in the organization contest or entertainment you see the status will be purchaser is updating so let me submit this so once this RFQ is submitted we will log out of the vendor portal from the user ID as Rajnikan Taleva and then once again we will log in as admin user uh, so I am going to pause this video and then I will log out of the system. So, so now you can see I have just logged in as Emma, uh, who is the admin user in Dynamics 365 Contoso Entertainment USA. So let me go to Pregmon Sourcing module and then request for quotation, all requests for quotation. So now here you can see the lowest status is received and received because we have actually received the um, request the bid from uh, the vendor Acme office supplies. So, so now if I go to manage replies, you can see submitted by vendor. So if we if the vendor if the if we as a purchaser went to reply edit and then clicked on my edit or of queue, then ideally the the response status will be submitted by the purchaser now since we have created a login id for the vendor user and the vendor user has actually performed this action so that's the reason you can see it uh, the status is submitted by the vendor right um so you can also view the quantity the unit price and the discount percent of two which we have applied so everything works completely fine and you can also see the bid submitter is Regina Talewa not Emma Harris otherwise um, who is the purchaser generally who goes and updates on behalf of the vendor so that's great so that's kind of brings us to the end of this episode uh, so there are a lot more scenarios like this which you can work on like in case of invoicing in case of consignment inventory you can play around with the vendor collaboration portal like this by logging in inside your um, Contoso Entertainment USA and then log out of that and then log in again as a vendor user you can play around and then try to learn more about vendor collaboration portal but in the next episode as part of our procurement and sourcing series we are going to see yet another important topic called broker and royalties I'm sure that this is some this is actually related to um, accounts payable but I thought this is something which is important to cover as part of the procurement and sourcing series so we will be discussing in detail about broker and royalty capabilities in Dynamics 365 finance and operation make sure that you subscribe to the channel D3 Talks or follow my profile in LinkedIn thank you